So good afternoon, thanks for uh, taking time to hear from me. My name is Phil Zamani. Uh, I've worked for 25 years with software companies exclusively in the open source area for companies like Red Hat and VMware. What I've done in the last 25 years with my teams is help businesses move away from proprietary software to use open source technologies. This speech is about real deployments of blockchain. We don't hear a lot about real customers. I'll talk about real customers and really why it's difficult to use blockchain, but how you can use blockchain. Bit of background. So, I'm going to go back in time first. In 1991, something happened that changed most of what we know today to be the internet. What happened in 1991, Linus Torvalds announced Linux. Now, Linux is an operating system, but that kicked off a trigger of, of events over the last 20 years, 25 years. And those events really are new technologies came out that were open source, and they allowed companies to move away from purely proprietary software environments. Most of the businesses today run on systems that were there for 30, 40 years, but with Linux and open source, suddenly there was a new way to unbundle the application from the middleware, from the operating system, from the hardware. But what really, really happened is in 1998, Oracle announced they support Linux. And once Oracle announced they support Linux, most customers got interested in Linux. And the same thing is happening now with blockchain. Two years ago, none of these companies were talking about blockchain, but now pretty much every company, software company, OEM, is talking about blockchain, because it's really now, now is the time for blockchain to really move forward really here. Now, there's been a lot of debates in the last few years around public blockchains and private blockchains, but these are the wrong debates, because business and technology is all about hybrid architectures. So you can ignore a lot of the hype from vendors. The truth is, for the next 10 or 15 years, blockchain will become a platform like Linux, like DNS, like HTTP. It will be a core fabric, and it will be a hybrid platform that, will, that wins. So what I'm going to do now is walk you through what this means. The truth is, we're at an intersection of 5G, IoT, broadband everywhere, serverless cloud computing, mobile devices, is all coming together, all connected through data. And the truth is now, we're seeing quite a new way of thinking in terms of how you can use devices for your business. So the truth is, with a lot of these technologies, if you can stitch them together, the operating word being if, if you can stitch them together, you can change the way you run your business. You can move the, uh, your developers and your engineers away from maintaining IT to developing apps. You can get rid of a lot of your IT by using cloud computing. But it's not easy to do. But the true, true unlocking will happen when you move away from proprietary systems and you distribute your data. The holy grail is to distribute your data away from silos like Facebook or IBM or Alibaba or WeChat. If you can really use your data as a tool, you can do new things in your business. But you cannot do that unless you figure out a way to distribute your data and make it secure. Distributed ledger technology, like blockchain, gives you that opportunity here. So really, if you want to take advantage, if companies really want to take advantage of all this new technology, you need to figure out a way to how to distribute this around the world. And the one way to do that is through DLT. And as I said, blockchain is one of those technologies. So let me explain this. In the 1980s, all businesses run their stacks. They had applications, business logic, data processing, communication and everyone was rebuilding the same software and buying software from IBM, from Dell, from HP, from Cisco. Everyone put a lot of money, and it's true that probably 75% of budgets in the last 30 years go into IT infrastructure, and it costs a lot of money to maintain this, and only 25% goes into the application. Now, the only really cha change that happened was 20 years later, the internet came out, and suddenly, business could share HTTPS, they could share the web to communicate. So it became cheaper and easier to communicate. But the stack hasn't really changed. You still have to buy a lot of software and hardware from Microsoft and IBM. But suddenly now, with blockchain, things change. And let, let me explain what, what changes. You can now put your business logic into what's called a smart contract. A smart contract is a program that runs on a blockchain. It's your business logic that automatically runs itself. No humans. No need to maintain this. You can cut out a lot of the business logic where you would typically use things like BEA Web Logic or IBM WebSphere. You could also distribute your data now in a distributed database like blockchain anywhere. And it's much, much cheaper than the database you have used in the past. And of course, with the internet now, 
even you can push this data across broadband networks, high performance networks. So suddenly, data's moved from the core, where it's controlled by vendors, to the edge. So every business can really now use data as a new oil. It hasn't been possible before, but with blockchain, you can unlock your data because you can push it out there, even with parties you don't trust, because blockchain makes sure nobody can screw, it, screw anybody on the network. It's quite an interesting concept, but it's difficult to do. So why is it difficult to do? Most people talk about blockchain in coins, Bitcoin, they talk about banks. The truth is many industries can take advantage of blockchain. So the world is getting too polarized on banking. Banking is the worst industry to attack with blockchain because of regulations, banks are too big to fail. Many industries are running archaic systems and they can move forward pretty much like jumping to 5G from first generation networks. So actually blockchain is ready for most industries, but it's difficult because there's not many companies out there who know how to stitch this together. So, welcome to 2019. So Ergo is a platform, it's like Ethereum. If you've heard of Ethereum or Hyperledger, but there's one difference. It's actually an enterprise blockchain that is built from the ground up. All we do is blockchain. We don't try and sell you IBM Watson or mainframes or software services or libraries. All we do is blockchain, just like Red Hat all they did was Linux. So this is built from the ground up as a clean room implementation of blockchain. So it, it stands alongside enterprise platforms and it works with what we call the cloud providers. But what's the difference is, it's really a hybrid platform. So what does that mean? Hybrid means it's built from the ground up. It takes advantage of public blockchains and private blockchains. So if you're not familiar with the difference, a public blockchain gives you the most trust because it's distributed, it's the one you don't control like Bitcoin. Ultimately, it's the most trustworthy implementation. The problem with public blockchains, they're slow. And many governments, many businesses will still not put their data on a public network because of GDPR or other rules. A private blockchain, on the other hand, gives you control. You can control your data, you can make it high performance, you can run it in your network, so it gives you a lot more control. But it's been either one or the other. This approach is combining the best of both worlds by creating a bridge between a private chain and a public chain. This is built, built by a black belt team in Korea. You don't often hear about technology outside of Korea other than Samsung and maybe LG. But tr the truth is Block Blocko in Korea is one of the most advanced blockchain companies, but nobody's really heard of them. The truth is for the last five years, they've been doing production systems. They started with POCs, but we have after IBM, probably the most production systems running blockchains. The government uses our system, the stock exchange uses it, Samsung uses this LG, but it's built by a SWAT team of developers in Korea. And they built this from the ground up to be completely open source, completely open. So it's good for developers, it's good for businesses, and it's good for integrators who may want to take advantage of an open source platform, pretty much like Linux happened 20 years ago. So what it provides is, as I said, the combination of private and public blockchains, but it allows you to deploy your private chain in the cloud, what's called serverless computing. Serverless computing is a, a fancy buzzword for easy deployments in cloud. Separate the application development from where you deploy the service. This is how Facebook, Google, Uber, Airbnb build their applications a day, but most businesses haven't woken up to the opportunity with serverless computing, but now you can. So we combine a private and a public blockchain architecture with cloud from any vendor, Google, AWS, IBM, Huawei, Alibaba, Deutsche Telekom, you can choose and can deploy your architecture on this. But we've also done something different. We've made it backwards compatible with software that people like, SQL. SQL is a programming language, it's a very old language, but it's the most widely populated language for databases. Nobody talks about SQL in blockchain, we do. We've opened up now SQL to eight million developers by making SQL compatible with blockchain. So all those DBAs out there managing databases can now look at using blockchain without having to learn a new language. So we made it very easy. But the trick is not just about technology, is getting experience with customers. So those deployments we've deployed We've used that skill to build libraries to make it very easy. So as of last week, you can build a blockchain from scratch within two weeks that is pretty much production ready. It takes you more than two weeks to call IBM and another three months to agree a statement of work. Within two or three weeks, you could stand up your own blockchain, high performance. 
this is what we've built. So let me explain this. There are many blockchains out there, EOS, Stellar, Ethereum. Most of them are focused on really payments. As I said, everyone's chasing payments. That's where the money is, pardon the pun. But the truth is that's not where the opportunity is. The opportunity is in standard industries where, which are running on archaic systems. So most of these platforms tend to be good in this area, but they're lacking IT integration. They don't consider the fact that businesses want to integrate systems together. They're not going to throw things out just because of blockchain. They want to integrate things together. So what we've done is create a bridge to combine things like Active Directory or SAP or Oracle with blockchain and provide the, the, the glue to make it work. That's what's missing in the industry. Many people have not done that. They're talking about white papers, about the new internet computer. What you need is code that people can use. And we've de developed that code over the last five years in Korea, and now we're bringing it out as a platform worldwide. So Ergo tends to cover the similar things, but it's focused more on integration, data, enterprise scale. It's built to be scalable. That's where we come from. We just launched the main net, which is the, in effect, the production version last week in Korea. And now we have around 35 clients in Korea moving towards this new architecture. These clients were already running the previous software that we built, but now we're migrating them to a hybrid of a private and a public chain. So what you'll see in the next few months is that Ergo will expand even further to cover all the areas. Because if you're going to use blockchain in business, it needs to be high performance, it needs to be secure, it needs to be easy to program, it needs to be cheap, and it needs to be integratable. And that last part is the hardest part. How do you make this integratable with all your systems? And those blueprints do not exist. Other companies, some starting with an I and ending in an M, will charge you a lot of money for those blueprints. We will just give that away. Pretty much like Linux, we will just give it away so people can adopt this technology here. So what you'll see from us is a platform that combines a private, uh, sorry, a, a public net, public chain, with private chains where you can deploy on cloud. So you, you use this to anchor your transactions, but you run your high performance private data on a private chain, but you can run this on a cloud infrastructure. This is similar in concept to Hyperledger in Ethereum, but it's hybrid. It does not just do public or private, it combines both worlds. So what that really means is it looks like this. This is a so-called stack. You build applications, we provide all the infrastructure around that, and we allow you to target to different target architectures. This is how an enterprise thinks. When they take advantage of a new platform like Linux, they think of everything from the application service right down to the bare metal. We're providing the whole stack and all the tools and the libraries to enable that. That's what we announced last week. So these are the kind of capabilities that we include. Uh, one key thing is Lua is a, contract, a smart contract language. It's well developed been used by many years by Google. Uh, SQL's been used by many, by, by many developers. We're using old technology with a new platform to make it very, very easy. Of course, we support Solidity and other new, new approaches, but the truth is, if you want the mass market to adopt blockchain, you've got to make it very simple and very easy. So, this is our production version. So, Blocko is the company behind Ergo. Blocko builds a technology, but Ergo is open source like Linux. It's free for anybody to use and download and to integrate to. And Blocker provides an enterprise version for businesses to run their systems on. Pretty much like Red Hat is the go-to company if you want to run Linux in your business. You would normally go to Red Hat or SUSE or VMware or IBM. IBM is now Red Hat. Blocker is the enterprise version of Ergo. What we're shipping is things like these. These are what we call deployment blueprints. These are use cases that within a few hours you can download and configure and set up your own systems. These use cases have been built for banks, Shinhan Bank, Samhan. We've got 25 million users authenticating biometrics on smart cars in Korea using this technology here. We charged for this a few years ago, now we give it out for free. Because if we make the libraries available to developers, it makes it very, very easy for people to adopt this technology. So this is a, a certification blueprint. This one is an identity blueprint. Identity management is very important for everything you do. We provide that fully integrated with all the standards. We also provide a time stamping. A time stamping is a way of stamping documents or items in a supply chain. This is being used by Hyundai and, and by Samsung as well. So all of these use cases are being tested over the last five years. They've been programmed, tested, debugged. Now we provide them free of charge to anybody to use. The whole idea is if, like Linux, you make the platform open, you make it easy for developers, and you promote 
openness, you will attract not only developers, you'll attract integrators as well. So that's pretty much what I want to talk about today. So that's Ergo. I'm open, we've only got a couple of minutes for questions. We have a booth, 317, if you want to talk to the team, you can come and see a, a blockchain system running an IoT platform. But I think I've got a couple of minutes for maybe a couple of questions. So I'll just put my headset on so I can hear the questions, if you do have any. What is your business model, if you give this for free? Sorry, do you mind repeating that, sorry. What's your business model? <coughs> what do you do was, business? what's the business model? So, Ergo is free, it's a platform and we provide an enterprise version for companies who want to deploy this. So Linux is free, but if you want to run it in your business, you will contract with uh, Red Hat for support services. So Blocko works with companies and helps them integrate. Yesterday, we, we announced a very large deal with Hyundai. Hyundai is building a series of businesses on top of this new blockchain. The first one is to document all the data around used cars in Korea. There's a lot of fraud with uh, clocking, and uh, usage of cars, so they're now putting everything onto a blockchain. So we contract with companies who want to product productize this, but in effect the software is free. Any other questions? Yeah, how about the scalability of, the, of your solutions? Yeah, the question was scalability. Scalability is a, a long word. Scalability is many, many factors. The truth is, you can only make a system scalable if you take advantage of things like cloud computing, horizontal scaling. So our system scales horizontally because you can deploy your blockchain on any infrastructure, your own infrastructure or AWS or Google. When people talk about blockchains and transactions per second, they're only looking at one element. It's like a car. I've got an engine that's 300 horsepower. Well, if you've got square wheels, you're not going to go very far. So scalability and transaction performance, you need to look at the whole thing. So it scales horizontally. At the moment, it's running around 20,000 transactions per second, which is probably one of the fastest blockchains already out there. But we haven't even touched the limits of what it could be. Time for one more question. Let's make it a good one, not to put you under pressure. One more question. Here we go. What consensus are you using? The, que the question was what consensus are we using? Consensus is in effect the algorithm that you use to, 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 to create the blocks and in effect approve the blocks. On the public network, we use DPoS, which is delegated proof of stake, which is a, a staking model. But we also have a new architecture around that, which is called a reputation model. We monitor the reputation of the block producer to make sure there's no bad actors. If any bad actor tries to get control of the majority of the network, they're kicked out automatically here. So the public chain uses DPoS, but the enterprise private blockchains use other techniques like Raft. Raft is a scalable platform that is very high performance. It's used in things like Facebook and others, so we combine the best of both worlds, but we can change the algorithms as well. So I think I've run out of time. So again, thank you for, for attending the event. If you want to talk to me and the team or see some of the software in, in, in a, a real life use case, please come to Stand 317 and I'd, we'd be glad to talk to you. Thanks a lot.